So going back to this family that I entered upon, one of the students, and they're sitting down, his children, about six of them, Tabarakallah, watching Harry Potter. I said, Akhi, what are you, what are you doing? He goes, what do you mean, Shaykh? I said, how can you allow your children to watch this? He goes, I mean, harmless fiction, harmless entertainment. I go, harmless? Harmless? This film, whatever you think about it, glorifies, magnifies, promotes paganism, promotes shirk, promotes evil, harmless, teaching your children, huh? shirk, magic, the drinking of unicorn blood. What does Harry Potter do in this film? And his devilish schoolmates, what do they do? Other than cast spells, learn magic, brew potions, learn how to tell the future, learn what's known as transfiguration, or numerology, or astrology, or crystal gazing. What else is in that film? And this is called harmless? Wallahi, this person did not understand Tawheed. This person did not understand Islam. For verily, this film is built on shirk upon shirk. From start to end. It even belittles those who are non-magicians. They're called, I think, in the film, muggles. It belittles the non-magicians as being narrow-minded. Huh? They're weak, they're basic, they're ignorant, they're boring. It teaches the child this, that the non-magician muggles are weak, boring, ignorant, feeble-minded people. While the magicians... They're the classy intellectuals, the academical people. And you say this is harmless? So you see these young fellows, young Muslim youth, surrounding themselves with Harry Potter memorabilia, with the wand, with a broomstick, with shirts of Harry Potter, with books, with puppets, toys, Subhanal Khaliq Azza wa Jal. Showing their loyalty and their allegiance and their love to a mushrik. To a mushrik. An enemy of Allah Ta'ala. And we claim it as harmless fiction or entertainment. Do you really believe that Umar ibn Khattab today will allow his children on that satanic screen watching Harry Potter? Honestly now. And he will say, oh, it's only harmless entertainment. A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billah. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would get extremely angry to the extent where the veins would pop from his face when he saw anything that was negating Tawheed. And immediately he would stop it with no question. Then and there, This is the monoculture of Western culture, Western lifestyle. And the panel, Khalik Azza wa the narration actually mentions it. That we so will imitate the non-Muslims. So much so that if they entered the hole of a sand lizard, we will quickly follow them. Believing their ways is more opulent, more affluent, more classy, more enjoyable, more pleasant, more sensational. Astaghfirullah al And we allow our children to indulge in this haram. Likewise, you see, cartoons, for example, on television, but the majority of today's cartoons, wallahi, 
teaches either shirk, kufr, haram, boyfriend and girlfriend, and look at the way they are dressed, even in cartoons. They glorify nudity. 